I want to turn now to the voices from Puerto Rico's neighborhood of Rio Piedras in the capital, San Juan, speaking about the self-organized relief efforts in the wake of Hurricane Maria. After Hurricane Maria made landfall, the community of Rio Piedras in the capital city of San Juan has taken matters into their own hands, not expecting help from the government anytime soon. Rio Piedras is home to the University of Puerto Rico, which was on strike last spring. This is Jose Bellaflores Diaz, a striking student who has been leading community efforts in Rio Piedras since Hurricane Maria hit. Um, a friend of mine and I were sitting in our, our apartments and we understood that this was a major catastrophe and we had to do something to help our neighbors, to help our community and to help um, our country. So one day we just head out and started to um, remove um, plants and everything um, that fell in the streets. Um, once we started working, um, the people that, started, that, that passed by, the community started to join us, to work with us, and basically we started organizing ourselves. We started um, reuniting ourselves in this um, church, uh, the Bautista Church here nearby, and we just started to create a plan. <laughs> Here's where we organize ourselves. This is where we re reunite ourselves. And these are basically um, our strategies that we use to um, attend um, the different necessities. My name is Ferdinand Gonzalez. I'm an artist. We've already had situations where we've waited for the central government to come and help us, and we've waited in vain. We've waited and waited. So this time, we did not wait. What we did was unite the whole community. We know what we need. We know what each of us requires. So we established five committees. There's a committee for security, another one for food, and one for improvements to lift up Rio Pedras together. We're seeing that the efforts need to be done from the inside out. We cannot wait for someone to come from outside because of the urgency. They've left us a week without anything. There's no supplies, nothing. We need to take care of ourselves, and that's what you see here. One of the efforts made to help the community of Rio Piedras is providing food to those in need. In a Baptist church, Primera Iglesia Bautista de Rio Piedras, different organizations cook food daily and distribute it in the nearby plaza. My name is Marin Morales. There are people here with different beliefs and cultures, but we're all united for the common good of helping each other, of offering that helping hand to those in need. Today we cooked lentil soup, rice and beans, and brown rice. We also offered melon, pineapples, and nectarines. My name is Fabio Cortez. We've united with university students, and the churches have also helped us by bringing food. We clean and pick up the garbage. We are trying to lift up Rio Piedras however it is possible, because the government hasn't come here. Rio Piedras exists. We should not be abandoned, but helped. We're not asking for anything for ourselves individually, only for the community. The help should come as it becomes available. We should receive support, not only material support, but also emotional support. As Rio Piedras residents are hoping that government assistance eventually arrives, Jose Bella Flores Diaz voiced concern about the way relief efforts are put into effect by governmental agencies and NGOs run by outsiders. The idea is that they come here and they, you know, try and listen to what's happening. And I think that's the most important part here is just to listen, not establish their ways not establish um, their protocols. It's not just to work hand by hand what was already started here in the community. Um, we are very organized. We don't need no one to come here and tell us what we need to do, because we know what we need to do. We know our community, we know our necessities, we know how to attend them. Obviously, we don't have the resources. That report by Democracy Now!'s Juan Carlos Davila in San Juan. This is Democracy Now! I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez.